At Visual Robotics, we're transforming visual guidance for industrial robots. Here's the timeline for today's video. If you're not familiar with us, we'd urge you to watch the entire video. And if you already know us well, feel free to skip ahead. Currently in beta, our VIM-201 vision system is already raising eyebrows. We're demonstrating capabilities that are simply not available at any reasonable price. We make robot arm-mounted cameras specifically for robot visual guidance. Arm-mounted cameras have many advantages, and we have eliminated what used to be seen as their disadvantages. Arm-mounted means we are only processing imagery that's of interest. In contrast, fixed-position cameras have to monitor the entire robot cell, creating huge image files that need powerful computers to process. A VGA image of the right content could be more valuable than a 15 megapixel image of the entire work cell. Vision in Motion is our patent-pending technology that enables our cameras to always know their location in 3D space. This continual 3D orientation means that we can solve many 3D problems with what is nominally a 2D camera. It's truly disruptive with its faster performance and unprecedented new functionality, all at a lower system cost. The result is an ROI unmatched by the older technology available from others. No doubt you've seen how other arm-mounted cameras interrupt each and every robot cycle to take a picture and get reoriented, and this hammers your productivity. We don't have to do this because the VIM-201 is always oriented, and that means much faster cycle times and higher ROI. On this conceptual market map, the horizontal axis represents increasing visual complexity of the task, and the vertical axis represents industry adoption of solutions for those problems. Machine vision is an established category dominated by Cognex along with Basler, SICK, Datalogic, and others. 2D machine vision cameras are fine for inspection, presence absence detection, and so forth, but it's really a stretch to use these cameras for true robot guidance. A few companies, such as Robotique, offer a 2D camera for robot guidance. Robotique, in particular, deserves credit for developing awareness of visually guided pick-and-place applications. But these 2D cameras are plagued with the infamous stop, take a picture, restart problem, because they don't know where they are in 3D space in real time. And this inhibits adoption because of the resulting slow cycle times. These cameras also require difficult and lengthy calibration procedures. There are a number of relatively recent entrants in the 3D space, including Picket 3D, Photonio, and Zivid. Their systems can demonstrate impressive detection of complex objects, but they're quite expensive, often very slow, and require monster processing resources for their huge images and point clouds. Visual Robotics upsets the entire paradigm by offering fast robot guidance, not only for 2D applications, but also for many 3D tasks, using a small, low-power, arm-mounted camera that requires minimal PC processing. In just a moment, we'll show you several demonstrations of how different our performance is compared to these familiar brands. To be sure, there's a class of problems we don't currently address that are even more complex. Well, we'll leave this segment for a future video. To understand why our VIM-201 really does disrupt the old order of things, let's watch all this in action. First off, let's take a look at calibration. Our systems calibrate quickly and easily. Some robot cameras take 10 minutes or even more to calibrate, and then they require recalibration before each use. Your productivity takes another hit. The VIM-201, however, takes only seconds. Let's watch. That's it, seriously. That's how long our calibration takes. As easy as that is, as quick as it is, you'll usually only need to calibrate when you first install the camera. Vision in Motion makes it all possible. You'll appreciate the time saved and the improved ROI. Let's see this transformational vision system in use. We're running a basic pick and place example, picking up randomly placed pudding boxes and placing them neatly in an organized stack. Our cycle time is a little over three seconds. With our path planning optimization that's now underway, it will get better still, even on this UR3 robot. With our true visual guidance, the location and orientation of the pudding boxes doesn't matter, so long as they're within the pick zone. Now let's up the challenge a bit. Here we're picking the top box off of a stack of pudding boxes where the stacks are at differing heights. 
The stacks are also in different locations and different orientations, and yet we continue to reliably pick and place the boxes at the same speed. We can even place a stack of boxes dynamically while the robot is in operation. This is clearly a 3D vision guidance task, and we're running at speeds most 3D cameras can't match. Let's take a closer look at the pick operation. The vision system reliably detects the top of the box, even when the stack sizes differ. It moves quickly and accurately down to the necessary height without hesitation, and then picks up the box. Notice that the suction cup deflects consistently while performing a pick, even though the height of the stacks varies. There's no force sensor being used. This is a CB3 robot. All this accuracy is in the precision of the visual guidance system. Here's the same operation, but with wood blocks. There's no give to these at all, but we approach them with the same speed and precision, relying on our visual guidance. Let's add to the challenge one more time. We'll pick from different height stacks that are randomly oriented and placed, but now these stacks are two different size objects. We'll sort the objects by size and stack them according to size. We could just as easily be sorting by shape. You can see that we continue to perform our pick and place at full speed, calculating the dimensions of each box we approach while moving and picking it up without hesitation and then placing it in the appropriate stack. These impressive 3D capabilities are impossible for pretty much all 2D cameras. You won't get this power or speed from Cognex, SICK, Basler, or Robotique. What's more, in many 3D operations such as these, the VIM-201 will run faster than 3D cameras that are using monster processors. Despite these advantages, the introductory pricing for VIM-201 later this year will be only modestly higher than a typical 2D machine vision camera. In this video, we've shown you some of the compelling advantages visual robotics is bringing to the market. Our vision and motion technology is truly a game changer, enabling lower cost installations to provide much higher productivity. Unlike pretty much all other offerings, motion doesn't scare us, we thrive on it. In fact, in a future video, we'll show you how we can even pick objects that are moving. While the technology is interesting, it all comes down to an unparalleled return on investment. Thanks for taking time to watch this video. If you'd like more information, please visit our website at visualrobotics.com or call us at 541-348-3500. Visual Robotics is currently interested in partnering with system integrators who would like to bring our vision system to your clients. If you like what you've seen here and think our solution could help your clients, please give us a call. We'd love to speak with you. Thanks again for watching.